Hello, welcome to another edition of M Dreaded TV. Now I'm continuing my campaign to get people to boycott the three main political parties out of their disregard for the voters of this country. The UK general election will take place on the sixth Thursday, the sixth of May, twenty ten. Now, an example of this, I had this um, leaflet uh, last week um, from the Labour candidate for the now re remapped new constituency of Kensington. He used to be Kensington and Chelsea, now it's just Kensington. And what makes this really interesting is this person's actually local, a gentleman called Sam Gurney. I mean, he seems like, well, on the surface, he seems okay. You know, he was born locally in Paddington. He grew up on Ladbroke Grove, which is quite near where I live. Also grew up in the anti-apartheid movement, so he had some political background. And he's a member of the GMB Unite Cooperative Party, so he, his uh, roots are in being a trade unionist, which seems okay, you know, perfect Labour candidate, actually. <coughs> Most of his education was also local. But this is what really riles me and annoys me. Kensington needs an MP who cares. I'd like to know which brain dead moron came up with such a condescending, ta you know, whatever they call it, you know, it's condescending sort of, you know, brand image sort of thing. I mean, the last thing that p politics needs is brand imagery. It needs. To, to strip themselves down and be more honest. I mean, it's all over the place. It, you know, well, if you, well, act with honesty, integrity, and transparency. Well, yeah, why weren't you doing that before? I mean, this is the party, the same party that promised to be whiter than white. Yeah, you know, in the run-up to the 1997 general election, when after 18 years of conservative rule under Margaret Thatcher and John Major. Yeah, Belair promised to be white and white, and he's, <laughs> yeah, let's face it, him and Gordon Brand about the most corrupt government this country has had in many years. Well, if you're prejudiced to do that, fine yourself. But your party has wrecked what in little integrity Parliament has ever had. So let's not, you know, protect social housing. Well, what have you been doing for the past 13 years? You've practically handed the housing market to private interests. Rents have whacked up to, you know, around here in Kensington and Chelsea especially, the average rent is £42,000 a year if you took out a private landlord. Luckily, there is some social housing around here. By a stroke of luck. I mean, people on average in this borough have to wait five to ten years to get a social house. And then they have to contract it out effectively to the housing associations. So if you're going to do so, protect, no, you've got to start building new social housing. But people who cannot afford otherwise will not be able to afford to live in the borough, especially a borough like Kensington and Chelsea. Apps to secure our economic well-being. Well, considering that you've wrecked the economy, You've stolen the pension money. Your party, not you personally, Mr Gurney, but your party destroyed the pensions, took away our gold reserves. For what? And where did, where did the money go? On quangos? On useless bureaucrats? Because from where I'm looking, it didn't go to the people that need it. Make cancer care better. Oh right, so it's not good now, is it? I mean, I love all this, when it's the promise to make things better, when it's the very same people that caused the trouble in the first place. I mean, the NHS is a wonderful idea, it's a wonderful concept. But unfortunately, the execution has been a disaster. You know, it's been, it's got to the point where there's more bureau bureaucrats than there are doctors and nurses. And what a bloody mess they've made out of it. Strengthen Britain's role in the international community. Oh, climate change. <laughs> climate change is about the biggest rubbish pile of unmitigated rubbish I've ever come across. It has been scientifically unproven. 
The IPCC, which they always seem to love to refer to, regards to figures now, is a political organisation. It is not an independent scientific body, as it should be. And if it was, I can assure you now, the results would be rather different. And isn't it in the nature of scientists to be sceptical? and to inquire further until they do come to some kind of conclusion. But it is never 100% conclusion. They always find something else. But it's almost become a religion for them. I mean, I'm proud to say, oh, this is a gem. Oh, I love this. Britain is not broken. What planet have you been on, sir? Britain is smashed to pieces. We live in Notting Hill. We live in a, you know, we live in a nice area. So it's shielded from us, but I can assure you now, you go to any council estate in the north or the Midlands or in uh, Wales, places where there are poor people, you would see broken Britain full on. Your legacy and the Tories' legacy before. Labour is investing in our children. What a pile of rubbish that is. Well, if he's so cared about investing in our children, why is it so there is high, the highest rate of teenage pregnancies in Europe? We've got kids roaming around the streets with cider bottles, terrorising neighbourhoods some, in some places. Where's the care for them? And why is it, uh, not to mention the baby play scandal, where were you? When, where were you? Where the, were you when that happened? We are here to deal a modern workplace. What does that mean? Where you betrayed the unions by dumping Claw's floor in the mid-1990s in order for Blair to serve the capitalist agenda. So can you not, you know, please don't give me this, I'm going to be fairer in the workplace. I mean, frankly, this, this, this is not, this, this is my opinion of this. It's a pile of rubbish. It's not worth the paper it's written on. And frankly, this is a load of rubbish. I cannot be bothered with empty promises, little rhetoric and bullshit. Frankly, I am getting tired of this. I want policies. I want detailed policies and analysis of what you're going to do. I want to know how much it's going to cost. I want to know who's going to lose their jobs as a result of your promise. Or who's going to gain. We want policies. We want people, you know, stop treating the electorate like a bunch of idiots. It really isn't on. Well, that's it all I've got to say for this edition of m Television. I wish you all well, but please, one thing you must do, you must go out and vote, even if it's to spoil your paper. There's been many people who have sacrificed their lives for you to go to that ballot box. So do that anyway, but please, advice, I can only advise, a boycott the three major parties. They are useless, they are pointless, they are out of touch, out of mind, and they're just... They do still don't get it. Okay, bye.